to left field. Going back on it is Canna. It's over his head and it's out of the yard. A three-run home run. Alec Baum has given the Bills the lead. Well, he got one up in the zone. And he didn't miss it. That was a line drive tracer. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. You got three. Great inning. But you have the potential for more. You can't leave JT out there. It would be nice to make it a, a Sunday laugher. Then we go home, barbecue. You have a party, right? I do. This will be his 30th pitch, and he's got one out in the first. Let's hope after this pitch, there's still only one out. Line drive, base hit it to right field. That'll get another run home. Castellanos goes to second. RBI single for Maton. It's his ninth RBI of the year. 4 nothing Phillies on top. So first and third, here's Perez. This is a big out right here. You know why? These people saying, let's go Mets will sit down and be quiet. Mm. Let's give it, let's hope this is the only thing I got to cheer about all day. First and third, two outs. Line drive, base hit to right center field. Perez will drive in one. Now they're going to bring Beatty home. The throw goes towards Stott. He comes to the plate on one hop, and JT can't hang on. I'm Keith Hernandez. I just want to tell you what a big fan. That'll I am. be a two-run double for Perez. And now it's a 4-2 game. Here's where you got to finish. You, you, you know, the last thing you want is to get a big double play and then give up a two-out hit. Line drive down the right field line. That'll get a run home. Vogelback is lumbering around first, and he's going to go to second. Ooh. And he's there. RBI double, 47th RBI of the year. It's a 4-3 game. Yeah, that's what I mean. You get that. You know, their their best RBI guy to ground into a double play, and you think, all right, everything's good, and then he hangs that pitch right there to Vogelbach, and you know, let's be honest, he's lucky it was a double. This is what happens when you're playing a good team and you score four in the first, and uh, granted they've only hit a couple more times since then, but they haven't added on nothing, and the Mets just keep plugging away yep. here. Back toward the middle and a base hit in the center field. This is going to tie the game up. Perez will score. It's an RBI single for Marte. His second end of the day. It's a 4-4 game. He seems awfully intense. Down the right field line. Hit well. Marte's going back. It is go! Off the pole. It's his second three run home run of the day. One to left, one to right. And the Phillies retake the lead. Have a day. 56 runs batted in, 10 home runs. Mets tie it up in the top of the inning, and Alec Bohm says, you know what? I'm going to handle this the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just barely catching that fair pole. The netting of the fair pole. Netting of the fair pole. Well, the end game over-under is now up to 14 and a half. We weren't sure about 10 and a half, but under 14 and a half is minus 131. Over is plus 100. What are you thinking? I'm still going to say under. I hope it goes over, but I hope it's us that puts it over. Well, that's that is true. I need to breathe, Tom. 
little easier. Breathe easier. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Canna sends one of the air to deep left field. Veerling is back. Oh man. And this game is all of a sudden tied here in the top of the seventh inning. On the first pitch. Rather stunning. Yeah, you knew playing the Mets it wasn't going to be easy. No, now you got to. You know, they just broke our hearts. Now you got an opportunity to break theirs, but you can't let them score no more. Line drive out toward left field. It's deep. It is gone. Just over the flower bed. A pinch hit home run by Gene Segura. He's just given the Phils the lead, eight to seven, here in the bottom of the eighth inning. He lost his hat around first, celebrating. Now here's a guy that hits a three run homer, but you think he's thinking, let me hit the ball the other way? I would think he is. I would think he's not. Oh, wow. No appeal. Well, now, I, I thought that was a called, should have been a called strike. And, I'm watching JT and then I looked at the screen. It was quite quite a bit outside. Yeah. Stack cast 3D, quite a bit outside. Yeah. Although well, we've seen it called a strike before. Fly ball, left field. Oh no. He's homered again and what a bat flip. Wow. Two run home run for Canna. And the Mets now lead it nine to eight here at the top of the ninth inning. That, that's why I didn't think he was going to think about hitting the yeah, other you're way. You're right on it, Johnny. You're right on it. I'll tell you what, that's asking a lot of David Robertson, Tom. Come back. 36 pitches and come back. Yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. He got that one. Watch this, Johnny. Oh, yeah. Hey, he enjoyed it. Pitch in just two games. Oh, man. Brandon Nimmo's just added some insurance. So a home run. 10 8. Three runs have scored in this inning. Big spot for the young pitcher. Well, not young pitcher, but inexperienced pitcher. I'd like to say something that I, I, I'm afraid. You give yourself five seconds. Yeah, no, I need more than that. I'm afraid that, that this would be my last broadcast. I really. No, I, so I'm gonna. Okay. Just. All right. Here we go. So you know what? You I just end it now. You just end it now. Just save us the heartache. Save us the drama, just end it. It's one ball and two strikes with two runners on.
And the pitch. And a call. Strike three on the inside corner. And the Mets have taken three of four from the Phillies. This, the most heartbreaking of the three losses the Phillies have had this weekend. As they lose it 10 to 9 after the Mets scored three runs in their half of the ninth inning. Damn. They made some noise in this ninth inning, but just not loud enough. Season series with the Mets is over. Mark Canna, single, two home runs, five RBIs. And here's the final pitch to D to uh, Derek Hall. Yeah, it was there. Right on the inside part of the plate. We're with you, buddy. 